One last game to cap off nine straight at home for the Sod Poodles. Coming off back-to-back -back losses against the Wichita Wind Surge, but still leading the series 3-2 to two and a chance to take it all tonight. For the final time this week, we send this one out to Hodgetown. No special jerseys tonight, but it is still a special evening. Scoreless through two innings and the Wichita Wind Surge strike first and heavy. Carson McCusker hits a line drive to center field to score Tyler Dearden for their fourth and final run of the third inning. And just when things are looking real bad, in comes Tim Tawa. I mentioned earlier that he was tied for first in the Texas League for home runs. He is now the sole owner of first place after this bomb to center field, back-to-back -back games with home runs. Into the seventh inning now, the Saudis trailing 6-4 to four in the wind surge pile on more runs. Jake Rucker attacks that left field wall just like Wichita did all night last night. And then Ben Ross hits a double out to A.J. Vukovic to score the 10th run of the game. And then J.J. DeRazio, who leads Amarillo in batting averages on Sunday, gets a hold of this one and flies it like a kite over the center field wall for his fourth homer this year. And if there's one thing the Saudis taught us last night, it isn't over till it's over. And here they come again. It's the new guy Gene Walters that lines this one out to left field to score Christian Robinson. Five more runs in the bottom of the ninth, but it wasn't enough to overcome the seven-run deficit. The wind surge win this one 10-8, double-digit runs in back-to-back -back meetings, and walk out of Hodgetown with a tied series despite losing the first three. Amarillo was back in action on Tuesday, 600 miles to Whataburger Field to play the Corpus Christi Hooks.